what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we know a few different things we know at least one one thing about the opening kill now we know a additional cast member and we know at least some scenes we can expect to see in the upcoming screen five and i just wanted to start off with a beautiful image of nev campbell and all her gloriousness before we got into things one of the things we're going to touch on today does involve well two things actually involve courtney cox uh, we're going to talk about Melissa Barrera because Melissa Barrera is the link to all of this stuff today. She recently had an interview where she sat down and spilled some beans in regards to how she's been preparing for Screen 5. And she's teased what character she's been or she's going to be portraying in the upcoming project, which is set to start this upcoming Tuesday or Monday. One of those two days. I know it's Monday or Tuesday. I can't wait. So getting on into things, let's talk about Melissa Barrera because all this stuff is linked to her. And here's another lovely image of her who many of us know she's probably going to be Sarah. 99% chance this is Sarah or Sam. And I'll get into that in another video. But the interviewer asked her about, wanted to talk to her about Scream 5. And they asked when was the first time she watched Scream. She said she when she was young, I guess in between 10 and 15 years old, I was obsessed with scary movies and I watched all the time. The first Scream came out in 1996 and I was way too young to watch it then. So I think the first time I watched it, I was probably 10 or 11. I just love getting scared and then not being able to sleep in my room and having to sleep in my sister's bedroom on the floor because I'm a masochist in that sense. I love watching scary movies, but I cannot sleep for two weeks afterward. It's insane. Have you been doing anything ahead of time to get into a character? And she said this, I've been doing a lot of research on my character specifically because she has she has lived through certain things that make her a very complicated human being that I personally have not lived through. So that's what I've been doing. Just writing down memories and creating her life, basically her childhood, so that I've informed in the way that she acts and why she is the way that she is. I've just been reading the script over and over again, finding different things in it, reading between the lines and discovering new things every time I read it and also trying to be not to be nervous that I'm going to meet Courtney Cox, honestly, because that's one of the most exciting things. You have no idea how many times I played in my head the scene where I'm meeting her for the first time and I'm like, what am I going to say to her? Now, off the bat, we already know what based off of what she said. And again, I'm rereading it. I don't it's not it's not an actual confirmation. We at least know now that Courtney Cox's character, Gail Weathers, will not be the opening kill of Screen 5. And then one of the scenes we can now potentially expect to see is a scene between Sarah and Gail Weathers. And most likely Teresa. What it sounds like also we can expect from Gail Weathers in Screen 5 is because I'm going back over it where she's saying she's going to be nervous that she's going to meet Courtney Cox. And she, we have no idea how many times she's played in the head the scene where I'm meeting her for the first time. She's basically just going over. She's basically just going over this. The fact that she's meeting Courtney Cox and how excited how excited she is and how she's been painting that scene in her head. So going off of that, we can possibly eliminate gail weathers from the opening kill we can eliminate gail weathers from the opening kill and we can expect possibly a scene between these two in the film uh just because she's so excited about meeting her now she did say she's like a big inspiration for her in terms of an actress so maybe she's just jabbering on about how she's just excited to meet one of her favorite actresses but this to me lets me know we can write off gail weathers from being the opening kill and we could expect to see gail weathers back into her old swing of things with being a reporter of sorts and we, we might get a couple of scenes between her and sarah and Teresa, played by jenna ortega of course and then what i also just wanted to just again reiterate her statements about watching the movie when she was very young and just researching the character because she's been through a lot those are details that speak Sarah. Sarah is described as being a former teenage bad girl. She's been through a lot of things. She left town at a young age due to some hardships at home. She has done other minor things that I I, I don't know if I should say these things because these are in the audition tapes. If you've seen the audition tapes, you know what type of stuff Sarah has done. And it's 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 Marine Prescott stuff. That's all I'm going to say. She's done some Marine Prescott stuff <laughs> if they're keeping that in the script. Uh so Sarah is a former teenage bad girl, been through a lot of things. And based off of what Melissa Barrera had to say, that's making it very clear that her character will, in fact, be Sarah, who is also now apparently Sam. And I'm going to get into that into another video that I'm going to make later. But jumping into the next thing, talking about uh, the new cast member that we have, we have Sonia Amard, who is joining the cast of Screen 5. Now, 
We don't know who she's portraying. This this came to us yesterday exclusively from Deadline Variety. Those many sites to keep on bringing us news and everything. I, I believe this one came from Variety though, and they have broken that this actor who is from the most part what I've seen going over her socials. This is a model turn actress at this point. I don't know. If, I I think this is her first breakout role, her first major role. If she's done any other projects, let me know. Um, but she's very very pretty. And I don't know who she's going to portray. I'm expecting her to portray maybe Teresa's girlfriend, Annie. And if that's the case, I'm really excited to see her acting chops because her acting chops are not the best. And she is Annie and Annie ends up being the killer. That's I I just don't know how I feel about her. I think she is the most odd, odd one out of the bunch because I have no idea what to expect from her. I have no idea what to expect from her. The other the other two, there's two other people that I know I haven't really seen that much of. Everyone else, I've seen what they can offer. I've seen their acting chops. But Sonia is like the, she's the standout. She's kind of like my red flag. I don't know how good her acting will be. And if she turns out being a character that's ultimately going to be the killer in the film, I hope her acting is top notch. Not like Nev Campbell worthy, but you know, like just be be a good actress like be on the par of emma roberts emma roberts wasn't doing like some i don't know what to say her performance in screen four wasn't something that i would say emma roberts should necessarily go brag about but you know what it was an adequate performance she did fine in that role as the killer she brought her a game did what she could seen better killer performances from the previous entries but she know emma roberts did her thing and I don't know what to expect from Sonya because I've never seen anything from Sonya. I don't know who she is. She's very pretty. And I'm expecting that she's going to be portraying Annie. That's all I really have to say about Sonya. It looks like she's going to be portraying Annie. And if something happened with the sound just there, it's because I hit my mic and it fell down. But going back into something else I want to talk about, going over these characters that are in the film. We got our cast last week. Full cast. We got our full cast. We don't know yet if Kirby's going to be in it. And honestly, with everything that we as a group, because if you follow me on Twitter, yes, there are some things that I know. But us as a group, we do not know yet. And I'm not going to come out here and say everything. But us as a group, we do not know. There are multiple things out there, multiple scripts. So don't don't read too much into everything that you see. Just know that there you don't know what you're going to get because there's multiple things. And I shared something today on Twitter just because everyone was going crazy about that fanfic. I want to put everyone at ease that there are several different things at work with this project. And I keep on using the name Sam with Sarah because there's a video I'm going to make later addressing something that it seems I was also correct about. Just as I stated that we would get a full casting announcement with the announcement of Neff Campbell returning. It looks like Scream 5 also went ahead and they used stage names. And when I say stage, like just, you know, fake names for these audition tapes and this Parkside Alpha. You know how Parkside is a working title. It looks like these character names are working titles too because Sarah isn't Sarah. It looks like Sarah is Sam. And it looks like we have a whole list of new names for these characters. It looks like on this is coming from a talent agency and i, I want to get back i want to get into that in a separate video just a real quick separate video i'm going to make later over the weekend for you guys but the i want to talk briefly about just this cast because there's been a lot of backlash and it's not even necessarily backlash just a lot of the comments you guys are making i'm let me just say personally i love a good race joke i do but when you're you you have to keep in mind you you need to know when where you're at when you're saying certain things you don't need to say everything that comes to mind and i'm i'm guilty of saying some things i shouldn't have said and i can understand if you guys weren't trying to be racist but watch your comments on twitter when you're making comments about s some of these cast members because some people are going to call you racist and i i can understand if you weren't trying to be you're just trying to be funny but some people don't find that stuff funny they don't they don't think that's cute and it, it does come off as racist to them. So even if you weren't trying to be racist, just like watch watch your audience. Watch your audience. Don't just say things about this cast. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.